Welcome to the Ape tutorial video series number nine. This video will cover the PCR reaction tool. The PCR reaction tool is accessible from the toolbar via this icon or from the tools menu in the main menu. If you open the tool, you'll see that there is a central table of primers that bind to the currently um, selected template. You can select the template from among the open windows. In this case, I have two um, sequences, the Golden Gate product from an earlier Golden Gate video and the Gibson product from the earlier Gibson um, demo demonstration. So you can see that there are features indicated here. Um, from each of those templates. Then you have a PCR database of um, primers. You can add primers to your currently open database either by opening a text file. You can add primers from the clipboard or you can add primers from primer bind features within one of the currently open sequences. So if we add all of the primers from the Golden Gate product, you can see now that it, this table populates with the um, primer name, the sequences, the direction, the location, and the TM of each of the primer binding sites for the primers that uniquely um, prime within this template. If you click on any one of these rows, it shows a graphical representation of where that primer binds and the direction that it binds there um, via a triangular icon. You can show primers that bind anywhere in the template. For example, the T7 primer binds multiple locations. These are not useful for a PCR reaction, but you can see where all of these primers would uh, anneal. And you can show all of the primers that are in your current database, whether they bind to the template or not. So if you go back to um, the unique primers, you can, if these primers are not already um, features within the um, sequence, you can add the selected primers by selecting rows and then add those selected primers as new features within this template. You can change um, the search parameters for um, how these primers are going to anneal by finding a minimum annealing length, a maximum mismatch, and a minimum match at the three prime end of the primer. If you'd like to do an actual PCR reaction in silico, you need to um, set the tool to select primer pairs. Now, instead of selecting any number of rows, you can only select two primers at a time. The selected primers are highlighted in bold, and um, you can only select one forward primer and one reverse primer. So if I change to select forward primer two, forward primer one is now deselected. So you can do a PCR reaction. In this case, we can do the PCR reaction that generates the Golden Gate product from forward primer one and reverse primer one do a new PCR product and it generates a new linear sequence that is the um, PCR reaction in silico of those two um, primers. Similarly, we can do primer forward primer two and reverse primer two. You can see that they bind here and here and we can do a new PCR product like that. So we can um, copy a DNA sequence and use that by adding primers from the clipboard. And now this new primer that I just copied is present within our database and can be used with, as a PCR reaction product. You can also um, select a region and do find primers and it will search for primer 
um, individual primers that match each of these conditions within the table that have um, a maximum self-complementarity of these numbers, and then you can add an additional um, primer that you want a maximum heterodimer um, match. You can then select which orientation you'd like the primer, and then how you would like to sort the output, and select OK, and it will give a list of potential PCR primers that match that um, condition. These are all live linked, so if you click on them, it will um, move the selection within the template to that area of the primer binding. So that is a demonstration of the um, PCR reaction tool, and the end of video number nine.